you guys, Mars Singing here, bringing you another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle video. And so today we are going to be looking at the AGL Super Saiyan 3 Goku Super Easy A uh, to see how this boy is going to fare uh, in game. I'm doing the Red Zone Golden Freezer. I like trying out this event when it comes to uh, testing out units. Obviously for Global it's not out yet, but it will be upcoming. Um, so it's kind of interesting to see how units will fare in these kind of events and uh yeah we'll go through this boy here now super easy a no extra maximum level no change to the super attack effect so level 140 sa 15 and his super attack is just immense damage to the enemy and greatly lowers defense no change to his leader skill either so there's not going to be any sort of re like sort of comeback for him as a leader for things like battlefield and stuff because Really, it's just too low, right? You want to be running at least 120, 130, 150 leads, right, for Battlefield. Most people just run a lot of 170s, run mono-color mono, mono uh, color category teams. But the important thing is his novel of a passive. I mean, look at this. Key to attack and defense 200%. He gets a crit on the first turn guaranteed. He gives super class 20% extra crit chance, uh, super class allies, and extreme class allies 10% crit chance. Uh, this is for three turns from his first turn. He gets additional attack and defense 150 for five turns from his entry turn. An additional attack and defense 150 and a high chance of launching additional super when performing a super attack for seven turns from his entry turns. He's getting a ton of buffs on the first uh, few turns, right? He then also gets um, uh, additional 100% attack and defense when performing a super starting from the eighth turn. So it just drops from 150 to 150. Um, and then remember, that is a huge buff on super. Um, 150% on super is pretty crazy. Uh, then he has a medium chance to dodge, uh, which is 30%. He gets an extra 30% before attacking. And then he gets an additional 150% defense and high chance to crit for three turns after evading an attack. So he gets guaranteed crit on the first turn. After dodging, he gets 50% crit. So I just gave mine all additional and then the rest dodge because he does not need crit in his inner potential, in my opinion. Um, so you can see here on turn one, he's at 337k defense at the start of the turn. Now remember, if he dodges an attack, he's going to get an extra 150% defense. So that immediately jumps up to what 750k plus and then when he supers he gets 150 percent on super so after a dodge and then supering he'd be at 1.4 million defense uh which is kind of crazy so i do kind of want to see him let's see him without dodging an attack first here just to see uh what he's gonna look like i've got the vegeta here uh, the gogeta here because he has the over in a flash uh we can float him off on into slot three and have him transform when he comes back on the next turn um, and we'll just see how uh, Goku does on this first turn. Remember, he's going to get a guaranteed crit. So what kind of attack stat are we looking at? We've got three links active. We do have the support from this STR Piccolo as well. Um, so turn one, 14.7 million. Okay. And remember, guaranteed crit. Then he has a chance to launch an additional. Sadly, it was only a normal, which is a guaranteed crit as well. But then there's that hidden potential additional, which is why... You would go for a lot of additional with him. Another 14 mil. And of course, because it's still the first turn, still guaranteed crit. So he just one-shots those two dudes uh, each. That's pretty good. And then Gogeta. Is he going to be able to take this guy out? No, of course, the AGL one is the one that's left. So, But that's all right. It means we can quickly finish off uh, Togoma here on the next turn. And then uh, be right back to the Super Saiyan 3 Goku rotation, which is what we want. Uh, we're going to keep God Goku on the other rotation. He's basically just here to help out because we're fighting Frieza, who is a movie boss enemy. So very good that this tech God Goku gets to make a little bit of a comeback uh, when this new movie boss's Red Zone set of stages comes out. Of course, in the first phase, the minions don't count as movie bosses, but as long as we weren't getting a slot one super, we were never really going to take any damage on this turn anyway. And uh, we can finish off this guy here with... Uh, physical Gogeta. So obviously this team build, you know, this isn't available on Global. We don't have the LR Gogeta. This is the full Movie Heroes 200% team. But Goku is on a ton of 200% leads. And because he's not a new unit that's coming out and needs to get awakened from grinding up medals and stuff like that, like I have him on Global, Link Level 10, ready to go. We'll do the Super Easy A and then we'll try him out on some of his other 200% leads actually on Global. 
Um, because I do have him, like, rainbow and everything, right? Because when it comes to some of these other units, like doing the Vegeta showcase, for example, Vegeta and King Vegeta, hopefully I'm going to pull them from the banners uh, on Monday, but there's no guarantee I'm going to get multiple copies of them or anything, right? So, um, I want to try out his slot one thing here now, see if he can actually get a dodge. Because remember, start of turn, 337k defense. Uh, we should probably let Piccolo get some build up here as well. So we'll put him in slot three. Um, not a lot of orbs. I mean, I guess it doesn't matter if I don't super attack with uh, STR Piccolo, to be fair. So we can just do this. All right, so Goku, 60% chance to dodge in slot one. There's the dodge. So we get a huge buff to our defense. 12.8 on our uh, attack stat here with uh, the support from Piccolo. That's with one link. That's him with Fierce Battle active. 12.8 million attack stat. <laughs> Twice. Um, and then the hidden potential additional. That's the only sad thing about no super attack effect. Because he doesn't have like raise attack and defense. So it's the same uh, attack stat every time. And then post super. Yeah, so he still takes 138k from this int freezer. And this int freezer doesn't hit particularly hard. So you can see post super. We didn't get any of those 30% dodges. So this is the thing, I've seen a lot of people blown away by like this Goku's attack stats and you know, getting the triple super attack turn like that looks very good. But you have to remember against like some of the bigger hard hitting bosses, he's going to take a lot of damage if he's not dodging these attacks. So that is something that we do have to uh, be very careful of. Um, so I think what we can do here is we might as well just go ahead and let, uh, might as well let you just be in slot one. So that you get the guaranteed dodge here. We're getting the same orbs of everyone regardless anyway. So we'll do this and then we'll do this. Give ourselves a bit of a heal. I mean the 60% in slot 1 is good. Like there's definitely going to be some interesting occurrences. Like if you get a couple of attacks in slot 1 pr before the character attacks. But then there's no attacks afterwards. That will be very interesting for this Goku. But you know it's the god goku scenario all over again people like to clown on god goku when he doesn't get his dodge he only needs the three orbs to have a 60 percent chance to dodge but when he doesn't dodge he can be taking a lot of damage and the thing with this goku is in slot one if the first attack that comes your way you don't dodge his start of turn defense isn't that high so if the first attack of the turn is a super and you don't dodge like he's just going to get one shot in slot one so on some of the teams that he's on, especially if we think about like the current global meta, I think he could be a really interesting unit to put on some of these teams where he's going to get the 200% leader skill, but maybe only as like a third slot floating unit potentially. Um, it all depends, right? There's going to be a lot of different factors. Um, so we will lose Golden Warrior if we transform with Gogeta, but we probably should. So transform you. Um, now again, like... He's got 848k defense start of turn now. Because, <laughs> of course, we get the uh, additional 150% defense for three turns after evading an attack. Now, that's where the difference maker is going to come in. He dodged an attack in slot one on the previous turn. So now he's got that defense carry over. So he would tank a normal attack here for double digit damage from this freezer, despite freezer hitting quite hard. But again, if we're not dodging a super then we are potentially going to be in trouble. So we'll see how this turn plays out here. He's going to super straight away. Come on, Goku. There you go. Now that is the exact scenario I'm talking about. That's what we want to see, right? And then we get this extra huge buff on super attack as well. So our defense now at the start of turn is like, what? He had 800k start of turn and then he's getting 150% on super. So his defense is now, what, like two, over 2 million? Um, so he's tanking all the normals for double digits. I guess it's one of those things. He's going to have these weird sort of turns. After he's dodged an attack, on that next turn specifically, he's going to be really strong. And like a good slot one uh, potential. But I guess you just have to be careful. There's going to be some dodge RNG involved. I kind of like it. Because he, on his best turns, he's going to look godly. But then he could still get caught. Which is, I like that, right? I've talked about this before with units, especially big damage dealers. Um, you know, units have roles that they're supposed to excel in. Units that they're, you know, uh, things that they're supposed to be good at and things they're supposed to bring to the team. So a unit like this guy who's going to be dropping triple 12 million attacks, like guaranteed crit on turn one. Um, he's not, 
you know, a disappointment if he's then not surviving some of the hardest hitting super attacks in the game. Because that's kind of what we would expect from a damage dealer, right? It's kind of like the the term glass cannon, which he isn't really because his post super defense is actually really good. Um, so, I mean, he definitely seems very, very impressive. The issue is going to be teams, right? Super Saiyan 3 team kind of sucks. It's going to be difficult to get the Super Saiyan 3 links. The STR Dragon Fist Super Saiyan 3 Goku, of course, shares the same name until he goes into the standby. So that's a little bit awkward. Um, so I guess it's one of those things where it'll be interesting to play around with him on Global and see exactly where his best home is going to be. JP, we do, of course, have some more options, which make things a little bit interesting. But, I mean, he seems very good to me on uh, just general first impression, right? I mean, Piccolo here getting his build up. Uh, I probably should have thought about it a little bit more carefully. I, I suppose post-super he would live a super from this freezer, right? But this rotation should work out okay. I mean, God Goku in slot one probably would have been the better choice. I only did this for the extra links and stuff, which I suppose is not really super important. Of course, you know, watch this freezer just go ahead and super attack Gogeta in slot three and him not get the dodge. But hopefully that is not the case. Uh, but yeah, Super Saiyan 3 Goku seems interesting. Uh, super easy A, very interesting sort of concept. No buff to the leader skill, the super attack effect, the uh, maximum level or super attack level, anything like that. So all the work has to be done in the passive. But you can see they understood the assignment, right? His passive went from being two lines, which was like 70% attack and defense or something like that. I keep forgetting. I know it wasn't exactly that. Um, and now it's like that entire, um, you know like war and peace over here in this man's passive. So that's what they need to do, right? If that's all they're doing is updating the passive, then that's what they need to do. They need to start putting some crazy numbers and stuff in there. And um, then we get some crazy stuff like this. So now this is where, again, it goes back to being a bit awkward for this Goku because now he's lost the buff that he got from getting that initial dodge. So he drops down to 210 uh, K defense plus a number of turns have passed now. So we've started running out of our buffs. Um, and of course, the problem, I guess, on this particular team build, if we go ahead and use the active skill for Gogeta, we're going to draw all the attacks onto him, which means Goku's not going to be able to get any dodges, which then means he's not getting any of his buffs. So we'll go ahead and let this play out here, but there definitely is a high possibility this Goku could get killed by this Freezer, which is obviously not what we want. See, we didn't dodge. Oh, and then we did, but oof. you see what I mean? So we got a good example in the video of what happens. Like, if you don't dodge that first attack of the turn, especially once a few turns have passed, then it starts to get a little bit scary. But getting that initial dodge before he attacks does, of course, give him the extra buffs, gives him the extra super attack as well, and then he tanks for double digits. But the super attack, which he then didn't dodge because we didn't get the 30% chance, because he's now attacked and lost 30% extra dodge chance, still does 1.3 million. So, I don't know. I'm interested to see the future of Super Easy A's. Um, I have to say, just from that first impression, literally the first time I've used that Goku, uh, I think he is pretty good. Um, he's not become like, oh my god, he's the best unit in the game, but he's not one of those sort of normal Easy A's that we get, like Jiren in Goku Black, Physical Transforming Vegeta, something like that, where we see their Easy A and it's like, oh, well probably not even going to bother running them at all. Whereas this guy, like I say, with some of the teams that he's on, he could be very interesting as a third slot floating unit. Because um, all of his buffs uh, for like the certain number of turns are all from his entry turn. So especially if you're getting like him appear on the second turn or he's in slot seven, so his first appearance is on turn three, that allows those buffs to last longer. Obviously for the sake of this being a showcase video, I wanted him to be on turn one. But he does actually benefit from coming into the fight a little bit later on. So let me know what you think of Goku. We'll do more extensive showcasing and stuff for him on Global when the Super Easy A actually drops. And we can try him out on some different teams. But, I mean, I do really want some Super Saiyan 3 buffs. We have two Super Saiyan 3 Gokus coming out on Global within the next like month or so that are just called Super Saiyan 3 Goku as well. The STR Dragon Fist and the Tech LR Dragon Fist Easy A. So this guy really needs some better Super Saiyan 3 allies to get some of those extra links active. But 
You know, he can still hit relatively hard with only one link, as we saw, and some support with that STR Piccolo. So I would say overall, he's definitely very good. Uh, he's going to be a bit scary to use against certain big bosses potentially, but he can throw out a lot of damage. So I would say overall, pretty impressed with the Super Easy A. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. So that is going to be it for the video, guys. This has been the Master Ningen. Smash that like button, subscribe to the channel if you are new. Check out the links down below for the Discord and the merch store, and I will see you all again soon. Have a good one.